It sure feels good to be in from the cold. Did you have fun ice skating, Squeaks? Oh, I know you don't want to be done having fun outside, but it is really important to warm back up. What if we warm up in the fort while eating a special treat that will make you feel like you're cold? Ooh, we can eat peppermints! When you feel a peppermint candy in your hand, it doesn't feel cold. But when you taste it, it... Yes, it feels cold! Peppermint flavor comes from the peppermint plant, which is in the mint family. Mint plants grow in many places all over the world, and peppermint plants specifically are grown in Asia, Europe, and North America. Mint plants are known for being hardy, which means they can survive harsher environments than other plants. They can live in places where it gets really cold or really hot, and if they need to, they can survive without access to a lot of water. Water. Mint is also known for growing fast and smelling, well, minty. The leaves and stems of mint plants have little bits of oil all over them that many people think taste really good. That's why we use the leaves, flowers, and oil from the peppermint plant in all sorts of things to flavor food, tea, and even toothpaste. And of course, peppermint candy. Good question, Squeaks. Peppermint makes your mouth feel cold because it contains a chemical called menthol. And it's kind of a microscopic magician because it tricks your tongue. What do you remember about how our tongues taste things, Squeaks? Ooh, yes, our tongues have taste buds. Inside each taste bud are tiny little sensors called taste receptors. When you lick or eat something, these little receptors catch the flavor and tell your brain what it tastes like. There are five kinds of receptors that can each catch a different flavor. Sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and umami a savory flavor found in foods like meat and cheese. Our sense of taste isn't just important for enjoying different foods, it can also help keep us safe. Many poisonous things, as well as food that's no longer safe to eat, tastes bad. They might be really bitter or just plain gross. And your tongue can pick up on those really bad tastes, letting you know you need to spit out whatever icky, unsafe thing you were eating. It is cool that our tongues can keep us safe. But our tongues have other ways to sense danger. Squeaks, do you remember some of the other senses we have? That's right! Besides tasting, our senses let us do things like see, hear, smell, and feel. Our tongue is famous for tasting, but did you know it can feel too? Your tongue is also covered in sensors that can feel mm -hmm. pressure and pain, and even temperature, and they send that information to our brains. It's important for your brain to know if you're trying to eat or drink something that's too hot or too cold and could hurt you. So in addition to our taste receptors that tell the brain, yum, this thing is sweet, or Yuck, this thing is super bitter. Our tongues have receptors that can tell the brain, ow, this thing is too hot or cold. But sometimes they can get a little confused by certain foods. Exactly, like when you eat something spicy, your tongue's temperature receptors think that that food is hot, even if it isn't. Yeah, so menthol is kind of the opposite of spicy. When your tongue touches something with menthol in it, the temperature receptors are activated, just like they would be if you put an ice cube in your mouth. So even though our peppermint candies are warm from sitting in this bowl all day, our brains got the message that we ate something cold. <laughs> That's right, Squeaks. It is really cool. Some other types of mint plants have menthol in them too. So you can also experience this brain tricking flavor by eating things with spearmint in them, like mint chocolate chip ice cream, which really is cold and is sometimes made with spearmint instead of peppermint. But I think peppermint is my favorite mint flavor. It always makes me think of winter time. 
That's a good question, Squeaks. Peppermint makes us feel cold. So why do we eat it when it's already cold outside here at the fort? Well, hundreds of years ago, hard candies were popular in Europe as a wintertime treat, because that was the only time of year when the cold temperatures outside could stop the candies from melting. And peppermint was a popular flavor to put into those candies, because unlike other flavors that would get weaker while the candy was cooking, peppermint flavor stayed yummy and strong. Because the peppermint candies could only be made when it was cold out, many people in Europe started to connect peppermint flavor with the cold winter months and their special winter holidays. And today, lots of people still prefer to eat peppermint flavored treats during the European winter months, especially December and January. Yeah, it's a tradition, but we can enjoy peppermint candies any time of the year now. I wonder, our candies taste cold today when it's super cold outside. Do you think they'll taste different in summer when it's hot outside? <laughs> okay, we'll make a note to eat some peppermints again in the summer. I can't wait to test this experiment. Have you tried peppermint candy or something else that had mint flavor? What did you notice about how it made your tongue feel? I hope you'll continue exploring and learning about food science and more with Squeaks, me, and all of our friends. Make sure to click the subscribe button and we'll see you next time here at the fort. <laughs>